Welcome. My name is Hubert Chanson from the University of Queensland. And today we are going to talk about the Colbuquite formula. Namely, what is the Colbuquite formula? What is it used for? What are its limitations? Why is this 1939 formula still relevant today to professional engineers? This is the Colbuquite formula in which F is a darcy weisbach friction factor, Ks is the equivalent sound roughness height, Dh is the equivalent pipe diameter or hydraulic diameter, and Re is the Reynolds number. The Colbuquite formula was first presented in 1939 in the Journal of the Institution of Civil Engineers UK and it is attributed to both Colbrook and White because the work was done in collaboration with Dr. C.M. White. The formula is based upon dimensional reasoning as an attempt to express mathematically the transition between smooth and rough turbulent pipe laws. The Colbrook-White formula is based upon extensive data sets and it is consistent with the recent superpipe data despite small differences. Importantly, the Colbrook-White formula covers only turbulent flow on relative roughness height less than 0.05. It is applicable to unvalidated for both pipe on open channel flow. In the Moody diagram, the applicability of the Colbrook-White formula corresponds to the turbulent flow region, illustrated by the dashed red line. The limitations of the Colbrook-White formula is that, first of all, we are dealing with turbulent flow only with relative roughness height less than 5%. And the Colbrook-White formula provides an order of magnitude only, typically one-digit accuracy. And it is an iterative calculation as a darcy back fraction factor appear on both the left and right-hand side of the equation. In a practical application, the first step is to check that the flow is turbulent, namely that the Reynolds number is greater than 10 to the 4. Then we calculate the relative roughness height and check that it is less than 5%. Next, we initialize the Darcy fraction factor, for example, using an explicit expression such as the Altsul formula shown here. And then we compute iteratively the Darcy Vesbach fraction factor, where we use the output of an iteration as the input of the next iteration until the difference between the input and output in terms of the Darcy fraction factor is within 5 to 10%. Remember, the Colbuquite formula provides an order of magnitude. We don't need to converge more than 5 to 10%. In summary, the Colbuquite formula was developed to calculate the darcy weisbach friction factor in turbulent flow. It is based upon extensive experimental datasets and provide a robust estimate of the friction factor in both pipe and open channel turbulent flow within 5 to 10% accuracy only. Additional references on the topic are shown here. And the viewers might be interested to look at some video movies on the Reynolds number, lamina on turbulent flow, on the Moody diagram. Thank you very much.